uh, going on. The lowest priority group is on the side. So what trick do we use? We use freeze and swivel. So freeze and swivel it, freeze and swivel it. And then, because we're freezing the top part here, fluorine doesn't change. And then we sw uh, swivel it. We're going to swivel this, this group right here to the back. So then he's over here, the aldehyde over here. And then in the front now, when you freeze and swivel, whatever's in the back gets swiveled up to the front. So now you get your ketone here. And then, that's a terrible t ketone. Okay, and on the side, you have a bromine. So a uh, trick you can use is, instead of doing what I did here, actually, because you already ranked your groups, right, and you know where they're going to be, you don't need to do this. I kind of waste your time. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, when you freeze and swivel, you know in the top, right, nothing's going to change. So you can just write the two here. It's easier. You don't have to draw this whole big molecule. You know that um, when you freeze and swivel, the whole goal is to get what's on the side in the back. So four is going to go to the back. And then in the front, you're gonna, whatever was in the back is going to swivel up to the front. So then here, you're going to have, let's see, three is going to be up here, because three was in the back before. He gets swiveled up to the front. Whatever is in the front gets swiveled up to the side, then this is just one. See, so this way you don't have to redraw all of these molecules, you know? So you'll save some time on the test in case you're in trouble. So one, two, three. So that's going to be clockwise and R. That's it. Okay? All right, now let's move on to this hard molecule. This is harder because it's, uh, it's not just a tetrahedral, you have a whole molecule. So the first step you do whenever you tackle any of these problems is draw all the hydrogens. People always forget them. So you have some hydrogen here, there's some hydrogen here. Um, is it, are we done? No. We're missing what I like to call the chicken for the hydrogen. So, yeah, so you also have, you're missing these hydrogens over here. So I'm going to draw it over here because that's the missing one. And once again, if you missed my last video where I covered this, how you know that that's a wedge is because you already have two in-plane ones, so you use your model kit, you have two in-plane ones, and then so then the only other two options are one that's coming out at you or one that's going away. So we have the one that's it's dashed that's going away from you, so you're missing just the one that's coming out at you. And then you can do the same thing here. Um, in-plane, in-plane, they're not going to come out right at you. This one's coming at you, that's the one we have. You're missing the one that's going in. So then let's do H here, okay? That's all your hydrogens. So next you have to identify your chiral centers. Um, are these chiral centers? No, because they don't, they're not sp3, meaning um, they're, all, they're, they're, like a, they're not like a tetrahedral like this, like this one with four different constituents. So not chiral centers, not chiral centers. This, these two here, right? They, they might have different, actually they do have four different constituents. And let's take a look at this one here. So I'm just gonna put a star to it. It's like my chiral center, chiral center. But um, let's see, so it has an OCH3 here, an H, and then it has, they're both bonded to carbons, but we have to do our kind of analysis. So this is a carbon that's bonded to a hydrogen, a carbon. And because it's a double bond, it's, you get a phantom carbon here. Use a star. Okay, here, this is, let's see, a carbon that's attached to another carbon, a real carbon, and a hydrogen. So these are different cons uh, four different constituents, one, two, three, four. But now you have to rank them, right? So who would, so let's see. Uh, oxygen would win first because he's the biggest. We go one, one atom at a time. So oxygen versus a carbon, a carbon or hydrogen. Oxygen wins. That's one. Hydrogen's not going to beat a carbon or a carbon, so he's going to be four. And then you have either a carbon that's bonded to a carbon, a phantom carbon, or a hydrogen, or a carbon that's bonded to a real carbon, another real carbon, and a hydrogen. So uh, the rule is that the real carbon always wins. Um, Think of that as like a bootleg carbon. Bootlegs are never better than the real thing. So um, this is going to be two. The oldest carbon here is going to be two. It's going to be three. Now you need to find the R and S for it, right? So let's go down here. 
So you have your two in-plane guys. Oh, what I like to do is also draw another uh, empty tetrahedral. So here's my two in-plane ones. So like with the trick we did before, just bring down the numbers. You don't want to bring down the entire molecule. It's too hard. Right. Uh, four is wedged. One is in the back. Let's see. So our highest priori priority group is no. Our lowest priority group is in the front. So whatever we get, we just cross it out and do the other, and get the other one. So this is one, two, three. So that's going to be counterclockwise. So it's S, and then we do our check. The lowest priority group is in the front. So not S. It's actually R. Okay. Uh, if you didn't see my first video where I explained this, check it out. It'll make more sense to you. Actually, <laughs> my bad. I just realized you guys couldn't see that. So it's going um, one, two, three. So that's going to be um, counterclockwise. So it's S, right? And just like before in the first video I did, if the lowest group's in the front, you got to cross out your S. It's actually going to be R. So I like this because it, it gives you like a second check just in case you forget. Okay, so let's do um, this Carl Center here. And I'm just, just going to write it in R. Okay, and when you do the next Carl Center, you want to just erase everything you did before to not get yourself confused. So let's get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. On the test, let's say if you're using pen, maybe you could try doing this like on the side so you don't um, have to cross it out afterwards because it'll get kind of messy. So yeah, let me erase all this first. Um, okay, yeah, this Carl Center, right? So rule number one, let's start ranking. Um, oh yeah, before we rank, if you see this on the test, so this was a three to four. If you see this on the test, you want to draw this out so you, you can see it better. So I'm just going to draw CH3, three. So that's going to be CH3, CH3, and CH3. Okay? All right. Let's start ranking now. So we have, let's go one atom at a time. So we have a carbon, a carbon, a carbon, and we have an H. So H is going to lose. He's the smallest dude here. All right. Next, we have, let's do the whole parentheses thing. So here we have, parentheses, we have a carbon. We have, we have a carbon that's binded to a carbon. That's this guy here. And then a bootleg carbon. That's no good. And then you have a hydrogen here, right? And then let's do this one here. We have a carbon bonded, sorry. You have a carbon that's bonded to, uh, you have a car carbon that's bonded to a carbon, another real carbon, and another real carbon. So they're all legit. I like that one. And then you have here a carbon that's binded to an oxygen, a hydrogen, and another carbon. A real one, though. OK, so let's do ranking. Um, obviously, uh, the one with oxygen wins right away. No argument there. And then you have. Bootleg carbon versus the real thing. What the real thing, not the bootleg. That's going to break down on you. Um, so three over here. So one, two, three, four. Just like before, we bring the uh, we, we draw an empty tetrahedral, and then we work off this thing. So we have one on the side, right? Three is on top in the plane as well. Two is wedged here, and four is in the back. We do this just to save time so you don't have to draw everything again. So one, two, three, that is um, one, two, three, that is counterclockwise. So that's gonna be S. And then you do that check again. Um, lowest group is in the back, so we're good. So it's just S. You don't need to do this whole crossing out thing. Okay? So that's all. Um, let's see. Yeah, so if you like what you saw here and you wanna um, get keep get uh, get updated when uh, I make other videos for with these tricks for other concepts. Just um, hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. You're good. You're good. Got it? No. I'm shaking. You're good. I'm shaking. Oh, you're shaking. I'm shaking. You're good. Okay, you're good. Oh, I can do that.